We begin with breaking news out of Schoharie County. The operator of a limousine company involved in a deadly crash in 2018 agrees to a plea deal with no jail time. We broke the news on Twitter first thing this morning. Nauman Hussein pleaded guilty to 20 counts of criminally negligent homicide, but avoids jail time. He'll be placed on five years probation and must perform 1,000 hours of community service. Hussein and his attorneys claim it was insufficient maintenance by Mavis Discount Tire that led to the catastrophic brake failure on the limo, causing 20 people to die. Let's go back to Jerry Gretzinger live in Schoharie for more reaction. Jerry, what's the latest right outside the school where all of this took place? Yeah, we've been here all day, Sabrina and Mark, and I can tell you right now, pretty much everyone has, has cleared out. There were about 100 people inside the gymnasium of the school today, which is where that plea hearing took place. But again, they have moved out since then. Now, you talk about criminally negligent homicide, the 20 counts that Hussein has pleaded guilty to. It essentially means that while he accepts responsibility for the deaths, he had absolutely no way of knowing that there was going to be a catastrophic failure of the brakes that caused that horrific accident back on October 6th of 2018. The seven page plea agreement, as you stated, has no jail time, five years probation, a thousand hours of community service. Family members who were here today of the victims clearly were not thrilled with the outcome of this plea. They were here making their statements. They started at two o'clock. It lasted approximately three hours. And the agreement strongly points to Mavis Discount Tire as being primarily responsible for that catastrophic failure that caused the crash. And the fact that Hussein alone could not be held accountable for those deaths, likely the reason why he walked out of here today a free man. I was able to catch up with the defense and the district attorney after the hearing concluded. So could I just ask you, do you feel just, appropriate justice was served today? I feel that we all worked very hard to make sure justice was served. Thank you. But, you know, he's, yeah, he was crying. He was crying throughout that whole proceeding, and uh, he's been affected. I've known him for two years, and uh, just about two years, and he's been, he's been really shaken by this to the core. Hussein did not speak for himself today, but we are told that he will be speaking when he goes to sentencing. That is going to be a separate date. We have not been given a date for that to happen yet. But again, we're told that Hussein says he's looking forward to the opportunity to speak for himself. And of course, when that happens, we'll have it here. We're live in Schoharie, Jerry Gretzinger, News Channel 13 with coverage you can trust. Mark and Sabrina, back to you. Jerry, thank you.